Hey guys, it's Bit Prince here, and today I have a video on the Lego minifigures series 1 to 9, and that includes the GP Olympic minifigures, which were released last summer. So, yeah. So, over here we have series 1. I believe these came out back in 2009. So, this is series 1. I'm not going to review all of them, obviously. I'll just do like a sort of. And here we have the Olympic minifigures. And then here we have Series 2. And then over here we have Series 3. Random mouse, and then down here we have series five. And over here we have series six. And then over here we have series seven. And then over here we have a series eight. And then down here, going this way along, we have a series here we have them. We have series nine, which is the latest one. See, yeah, that's series nine. So yeah, that is the Lego minifigures series one to nine collection. And some might ask, how do I get all of these? Well, what I did was basically like, from the first ever one which I received in the packet, which I bought from the store, was Robin. I actually got two of him, and then it sort of started like that. Like I started getting like loads of them. And I think when it was series one. I just went to stores and I kept getting some, and I found the code, like the barcode things, and the last one which I had was the Me Magician, so what I did is I, um, I got the code for him, I went into the store, what I think it was Toys R Us, I asked one of the staff if she could help me find him, and she found him for me, that was really kind of her, and then the Olympic minifigures, um, purchased them online, complete collection for £30, it's not too bad. And then series two, yes again I did collect them all. But I did get a couple of eBay, I think it was the oh who do you call it? The skier. And someone else. Who did I get? Oh yes, I think it was the sort of circus guy. I can see him there. And series three I mostly got in stores and some I got online on eBay, I think I got the Grillo and yeah. And then Series 4, I think I got mm, some off eBay, and then most of them are just in stores. Yeah, and then with Series 5, I actually got some, and then just stopped collecting. It was like I didn't want to get them anymore. I mean, I mean, I think it was till like, I think it was like a month before Series 6 were coming out, I actually started getting them more off eBay. I got about, I got about half of them, but then the other half I had to order. But then I did start collecting again. So basically, I might, not, I might, if I didn't have once, if I wanted to stop collecting, I probably wouldn't have all of the other ones. But yeah, so yeah, so series five, I stopped after I got some, but then I went back to it a couple of months later. And then with series six, I actually 
got some in stores and then ordered some online. And then with Series 7, I got some off of... No, Series 7, I actually ordered them all off eBay for £60, which is about $70, $80 probably. Which isn't bad, I suppose. It's quite good. And then with Series 8, I did the same. Ordered them all off online for about £50 again. About $80 probably. And then with Series... Nine, I did the same as well. I ordered them all offline. So yeah, so that is the story of how I got them all. Pretty vague though. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's all the collection. I hope you've really enjoyed this video. And yeah, thanks for watching. And please like, comment, and please, please, please subscribe for more reviews and collections. So yeah, so yeah, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Stop subscribe. Okay, thanks. Bye.